Hey team, welcome back. This video is all geared up elf healers. Let's look at the two styles of elf healers. Technically, if you are an elf healer, that means your introverted feeling is your dominant function. So in MBTI, it would be an IFP. So you lead with introverted feeling, and then you support that with your auxiliary function, which is an extroverted perceiving function sensing or intuition and then your tertiary function would be an introverted perceiving function and your inferior extroverted thinking so elf healers enchant their weapons with a warrior or hunter enchantment let's look at the differences in this video but first let's look at elf healers in general and get a little recap about it so some keys to the elf healer um, they like deep connections uh, to their moral convictions. So through their past experiences, they build this foundation of how they feel about something. And it becomes very, very strong and unmovable, pretty much. And um, they control their own emotional expressions, not like the extroverted feelers who emote a lot, but introverted healers elf <laughs> introverted feelers elf healers keep their emotions within them and kind of control and decide if they want to release them or not but that doesn't mean that they don't feel as much as anybody else they probably feel a little bit more actually so internal values are the most important how they feel about something whether it's right or wrong in their mind based on their experiences is the deciding factor for their actions for the most part these are preferences but yes so if they have a choice they're going to stick with how they feel about something and it doesn't really matter what the the group feels um, they like inner harmony if you're following what you think is right uh, then you're gonna be happy and you're gonna have that inner harmony and that leads to self-actualization you know going Doing things to reach the top of your potential is very important for elf healers. So they're more like single target healers instead of AOE healers like the dwarf healers. Um, their suffix in their condensed form would be of authenticity. So their attacks do true damage as an enchantment. Um, it would mean that how you attack the world is through your true feelings about the situation and what you deem is right or wrong. So for IFPs, I will be talking to you specifically. I am an INFP as well. But as an introverted feeler or an elf healer, uh, we just talked about how you how your character is, you know, single target heals and buffs you're focused on the individual um, and that comes through understanding how you are in situations how you feel about situations which you can either project onto other people or kind of just feel how they would feel um, based on your past experiences and whatnot and so you focus so much on your internal subjective world of feelings that uh, Everything else, that logical external side is repressed and put into your armor, which is as always a love-hate relationship. You know, you need armor, it protects you, it's good, it's another side of that same spectrum, but it's difficult to access and it causes you some problems sometimes. So some of those problems could be um, not liking when other people kind of give you advice or orders because it feels like they're trying to manipulate you and move you around. Um, that's definitely a problem for introverted feelers. Or just being unorganized in general, <laughs> like in the physical world around you, you know, just having a messy desk like this one over here um, could be another problem, another situation. So. It's good to play around in that external logic wor world sometimes to try to 
um, build your awareness of it when you can so that it doesn't cause as many problems as it might right now. So let's look at the two different flavors, the two blends of ELF healers. Um, as an ISFP, this means that your main hand is enchanted with um, extroverted sensing, presence. It's a dwarf warrior-like aspect. So this is how you gather information, how you learn from the world. And it's all focused on the external, concrete, sensory-based world and what is happening right now. So introverted functions are more about the past, right? Even introverted intuition, which we'll get into, is building from the past and projecting into the future. But extroverted sensing, this dwarf warrior presence, is now. Immersion in the current world. And for you, as an ISFP, that is the best way for you to learn about what's going on and, you know, use that information to fuel your decisions for how you attack the situations. So try to stay in the current moment, um, you know, self-expression through uh, using things in the environment like painting and music and things like that. Uh, using your physical body, performing. Those are all good ways for you to express your internal feelings. Um, but because it's extroverted and you are introverted, it's like speaking two different languages, you know, Elvish and Dwarven. So um, you got to watch out for that. It's not easy. So a lot of times it's easier to just go to your offhand. Okay. And in your offhand, you have this enchantment of vision, this elf hunter-like enchantment. And vision gives you more vision around you. But what it really is doing is letting you see things from different perspectives. So you are making decisions from your own personal feelings and your, your past um, connections to things in an emotional way. And then you are kind of shifting perspectives and trying to understand how other people would act or how what they are doing will influence the future or how it will come out in the future. And it's internal, so it's, it's easy to do, but you got to be careful with it because it's not your strongest information gathering function. Okay? It's, it's kind of too one-sided, right? If you're always stuck in your own mind, then you're not seeing things for how they really are in the world. So be careful with that. And let's look at a quote. ISFP, this is Brad Pitt. I've found that the best things always happen when you throw yourself into a situation and you don't know what you're doing. If you take too much control over it, it can become dank and moldy, no bubbles. So there are a lot of words in here that relate to extroverted sensing. Um, throw yourself into the situation, dank, moldy, bubbles. Those are very sensory based uh, words. And doing that, Brad Pitt also says that is the way to understand yourself and to um, put yourself in a better situation. So very ISFP quote. Uh, in the United States, it's 8.8% of the population that are ISFPs, according to MyersBriggs.org. So let's look at my personal favorite, INFP. Um, still an elf healer. Still have problems with external logical organization and that kind of dwarf magey aspect, the geomancer type situation. Um, but this time, your main hand, your wand, is enchanted with exploration, extroverted intuition. So any exploration is all about exploring the world, you know, understanding what could happen, thinking what could happen, trying to predict things, but it's, it's very short-ranged. It's not as heavy as introverted intuition would be, because it's in the current world, it's 
abstract connections inspired from things in the current environment. And for you specifically, you're going to probably look at individuals and how they feel about the situation and then kind of predict where they're going or how they could feel if you said this or this or if this happened. Um, so it's very good for you to get out, explore, just go traveling, uh, talk to random people. Don't put too much weight on it as us elf healers do. Um, and it's good to help people with it too. I mean, you can, you can reach inside yourself and understand how you feel about a situation and then um, kind of project that onto another person in their situation and try to give advice through that. So those single target healing. And your offhand is enchanted with experience, which is introverted sensing or elf warrior, this tanky kind of uh, aspect. And that way of learning about the world keeps you grounded, keeps you very grounded. It makes you not want to leave your house. It makes you not want to talk to new people or explore. You are happy with what you know. And definitely you can get caught in a loop of introverted feeling. How do I feel about this? And then introverted sensing, kind of reliving the past events. And you just don't want to leave because of, you know, trauma or anything like that. So it's very important when you start feeling like you're not moving, you need to just go somewhere, go explore, leave your house. Um, and games are very nice for this too, but also it can be too connected to that introverted sensing of, you know that you can't get hurt. You know there's no problem with um, playing a game physically. You're not gonna die or you know whatever, get embarrassed. So try to um, use your main hand more often. Use that exploration and gather information from abstract connections in the real world instead of staying within your head. So let's look at an INFP quote from Johnny Depp. People say I make strange choices, but they're not strange for me. My sickness is that I'm fascinated by what's underneath the surface, by the world's inside people. So looking into the world's inside people um, and understanding what's underneath the surface is very INFP. And people say I make strange choices, but they're not strange for me. So he has this idea of what he wants for himself, how he feels about it, and he's going to do it no matter what anybody else says. So very introverted feeling, elf healer style. In the United States, it's 4.4% of the population that are INFPs, according to myersbriggs.org. All right, so that was a look at elf healers, and it takes time and practice, but it's worth it to understand it, even if you are not an elf healer, because somebody you've come across probably is. And hopefully you'll understand a little bit more about how they're kind of making decisions and attacking the situations and um, what kind of information they're looking for, whether they're an ISFP or an INFP. So that was a look at all geared up elf healers and the two styles. As always, thank you very much for watching and good luck, have fun.